Hey space fans, this is Chelsea Goad and I'm here with NASA astronaut Stephanie Wilson. Hey Stephanie. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, uh, thank you so much for, for chatting with me today. Oh, you're welcome. So I know that you're here, we're here at the Cradle of Aviation Museum out in Long Island in New York and you're here to kind of talk about women in STEM um, and you're speaking to a group of young students which is wonderful and I'm curious kind of how your experience has been as a woman in STEM and how you've seen that progress throughout the years, you know, through the different NASA programs and as we kind of edge more and more through the Artemis program. Well, I was very excited for these uh, young girls to have the opportunity to hear from several women that mm -hmm. uh, work in STEM fields. Um, it was a wonderful opportunity for them to hear about their careers and their stories mm -hmm. and um, very fortunate to have been able to study engineering and to uh, find my way to NASA to join the NASA astronaut class of 1996. Mm -hmm. And over that period of my career, I have seen uh, increased opportunities for women. We now have women working in the Mission Control Center, working as flight directors. A recent um, center director at Johnson Space Center, Ellen Ochoa, was a woman. Uh, currently our deputy center director, Vanessa Weich, is a, is a woman. And so there are many opportunities now for women in STEM. So I encourage these young girls to uh, study hard. Uh, if math and science is their interest, then uh, they can certainly find their way to NASA for a career or for any of the careers that were represented uh, by the women on the panel today. Absolutely. Um, so you're out here with a, you know, a group of other incredible women, kind of inspiring young girls. But I'm curious for, for those that have kind of begun their STEM journey and are looking to apply to become astronauts who dream of being where you are today, um, especially with you know open enrollments for NASA astronauts just about to start again, I'm, I'm curious what traits do you think would be best for not only an astronaut, but an astronaut specifically as part of the Artemis generation to have? What is most important for them to embody and for them to strive towards? Well, of course, we're looking for uh, individuals that have bachelor's degrees and science mm -hmm. degrees in the STEM field mm -hmm. uh, for the civilian route. And uh, as far as qualities or traits for the Artemis generation, very similar to the space station generation, we're looking for people that uh, are adaptable, that are able to um, work well in a team, and to uh, transition well between being a leader and a follower. Mm -hmm. We're also looking for people that have uh, what we call expeditionary skills, uh, working well on teams, uh, working well as leaders and followers, mm -hmm. um, being able to um, make good decisions quickly and efficiently mm -hmm. uh, in an emergency situation or in a situation where resources are limited and uh, being able to lead themselves and their teams through to a successful and safe outcome.